In today's video, I'm going to show you what you need in order to have the ultimate weapons loadout in GTA Online and how to set it up so it's super easy to manage. So let's get to it. In order to have the ultimate weapons loadout in GTA Online, you first need to start with your pistols. You would need the Heavy Revolver Mark II, the AP Pistol and the Up and Atomizer. The Heavy Revolver Mark II can only be obtained through upgrading it in your Terabyte or any other special weapons facility. Be sure to equip it with all the best upgrades to maximise its ability. The ammo I prefer for this one are the Full Metal Jacket rounds. It's very powerful and has a decent range. It can kill most enemies with just one shot, but its fire rate is a little slow, but it's a weapon you really should have. The AP pistol is a must have for two main reasons, it's brilliant at getting headshots because of its rapid fire rate and it's also the main weapon you need when in a vehicle in order to kill enemies. The Up and Atomizer is the most unique weapon in the game. It's a nice addition and boasts a powerful ability to move vehicles and objects without causing much damage. It's super handy for all those times you've got your vehicle stuck, especially during selling missions. For the SMG and LMG weapon slot you only need one and it's the Combat MG Mark II. Like all Mark II weapons you need to upgrade them. This beast is very powerful and has a good range. The recoil is very strong so it's best used when in first person where it doesn't suffer with its recoil. For the Assault Rifles category, you will need the Advanced Rifle and a Special Carbine Mark II. The Advanced Rifle is very light, making it really easy to lift to get those headshots in. The Special Carbine Mark II is the weapon I use the most as it's arguably the best all-rounder. It's powerful, has a rapid fire rate, good range and ability to get headshots. For the sniper rifles you will need the standard sniper rifle, the heavy sniper mark 2 and the marksman rifle. The standard sniper rifle isn't that good, it's too weak to be effective against pretty much everything. However, it does come in handy due to how far it can zoom in, making it a key tool in order to know where your enemies are. The Heavy Sniper Mark II on the other hand, especially with the explosive rounds equipped, is the big daddy of sniper rifles. No other weapon has the ability to take out vehicles from such a distance with such precision. It will also blow your enemy's head off. Oh yeah, and you can equip a thermal scope. The Marksman Rifle Mark II isn't particularly powerful, but it lacks in power it makes up for in firing. <laughs> 
For the melee weapons, there is only one you need. When you strike an enemy with the stone hatchet, not only is it a one hit kill, it will also grant you super strength, much like Trevor's special ability in story mode. This will only last as long as you can keep killing with it in a short space of time before its power runs out. For the shotguns, you will need the Pump Shotgun Mark II and the Assault Shotgun. The Pump Shotgun Mark II is one of the most powerful weapons in the game, especially when equipped with the explosive rounds. At close range, this is very accurate and devastating to anyone in its way. The Assault Shotgun is a rapid fire cannon with the ability to kill anyone with just two quick bursts from its powerful barrel and is ideal for taking out multiple enemies at close range. For the heavy weapons you will need the RPG, minigun, homing launcher and the compact grenade launcher. The RPG is a rocket propelled grenade notorious with tryhards because of its power. It's great for blowing up vehicles and firing at campers hiding behind walls. The minigun is an all action weapon with ridiculous power and fire rate. It's mostly used for taking out multiple vehicle enemies, taking down helicopters, as well as fending off those pesky Mark II oppressors. The homing launcher is much like the RPG, only this one has homing rockets which will lock onto your target until it either catches it and kills it or it blows up trying. The benefit the compact grenade launcher has over the regular one is that it can hold twice as many grenades, holding up to a total of 20. It's a cheeky little weapon and I mostly use it to lob over walls to take out campers. And now for the explosives, you'll need the sticky bombs and the proximity mines. The sticky bombs are best used for setting traps that you can detonate when needed. As the name suggests, they stick to pretty much anything and can only be removed by detonation. They can also be teamed up with your main weapon by pressing left on the d-pad which will chuck one to whoever you are aiming. Proximity mines are similar to sticky bombs, only these detonate when a person or object gets too close. Before I show you how to only make visible the weapons you need for ease of access for the ultimate loadout, Let's just recap the weapons. You should have the Heavy Revolver Mark II, AP Pistol, Up and Atomizer, Combat MG Mark II, Advanced Rifle, Special Carbine Mark II, Sniper Rifle, Heavy Sniper Mark II with Explosive Rounds, Marksman Mark II Rifle, Stone Hatchet, Pump Shotgun Mark II with Explosive Rounds, Assault Shotgun, RPG, Minigun, Homing Launcher, Compact Grenade Launcher, Sticky Bombs and Proximity Mines. They really are the only weapons you need to succeed in GTA Online. Now I'm going to show you how to organize these 18 weapons so you don't have to scroll through your entire catalogue to get what you need. Simply head to your gun locker, open it up, 
From here you can choose which items you want to hide and which ones you want to show in your loadout. To adjust it so only these weapons are visible, go into your interactions menu, down to inventory, then you will see custom weapon loadout. You can enable or disable it. As you can see, when I disable it, all of my guns are visible. But when I go back to enable it again, it just goes back to my custom loadout. So with this top ultimate weapon loadout, you'll never lose a 1v1 again. And as always, if you found this video useful, give it a like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.